we want to make sure that there is an adequate wildlife pet activity there. So that's one of the things we're working on. The other thing, too, is that there's some other connectivity issues between, over Interstate uh, 8 between the Santa Tank Mountains and the Maricopa Mountains. And there should be a wildlife connectivity corridor or whatnot between over 238 uh, from the North Maricopas to the South Maricopas. There are sheep in both of those uh, mountains, and there's, there's deer in there. In fact, there's a lot of deer in there, uh, relatively speaking. And then, of course, where the line was found was in, here in, the, um, in this area right in here in the Butterfield Pass. So um, there, there's a lot going on. The other thing that's, go ahead. Oh, sorry. With respect to the new highway that Goodyear is pushing uh -huh. to be built, um, as part of the plans for that highway, are um, wildlife overpasses being, being proposed kind of like what they did between Kingman and Vegas on the highway to allow sheep to, to cross over the top of the highway? Are they looking at putting in those what the BLM is features proposed, in the highway? And I don't think it's adequate. They want to have underpasses, really well, big sheep underpasses. Don't. Okay. Sheep don't like underpasses. Yeah, sheep won't use that underpass. So what I think our challenge is that we want to see something better than an underpass there. Okay. I mean, yeah, other other types of wildlife will use it, but not sheep. So what good is it? No, it, sheep, uh, that's just, you know, okay. that's the way it is. Yeah, so that's one of the things we're going to have to be vigilant on. The Highway 290, uh, 92, like there's a little sign, uh, display over here on that. I mean, that, I, I, I don't know, probably John or 